Okay, guys, part two of uh, my PS2 games collection. Uh, let's get right to it. Hot Shots Golf 4. Uh, I like golf games. I like golf. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the professional sports games like the Tiger Woods stuff. That's more my brother, Oakland 93. He likes those stuff. Check out his channel if you don't know. Um, but when it comes to, I like goofy stuff too, and Hot Shots Golf is just pretty much what it is. It's golf, but just with a twist and goofy and stuff like that. Uh, it's funny as hell. Uh, in this one, we have Ratchet and Clank is in this game. Uh, Jackson Daxter. Jax, you can play as. Daxter is his caddy. And he'd be saying, he'll, he'll say some funny, crazy stuff in this, like, you know, it, it's just so funny to hear him. Uh, but when playing Jax or Ratchet, they're, like, super hard to beat. Uh, but I think they've made five so far. The last one came out for um, PS3. But this is the fourth one, and this one is really good for the last roundup for PS2. But Hot Shots Golf 4 was really good. <sighs> Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, I'm a big Metal Gear fan. Uh, Yadirio Kojima, Kojima-san. Thank you very much for creating this great, great series. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, was good. I mean, when this first came out, we all was hooked. We we, we all wanted we're like, yeah, Snake. We get to play with Snake again. You know what? We're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna sneak around and take people out with Snake. We play for him for how many minutes? Twenty minutes of the game, and then next, you know, we're playing. With this punk, blonde, pretty boy here named Raiden. And we're like, what the fuck is this? Right? And Raiden had to grow on us. And until he got into the ninja suit, that was when he became badass. When he was in this game, I freaking hated him. I was like, you stole Snake's spotlight. But I don't have Sons of Liberty, the original game. I have Metal Gear Solid Substance. This game is the same game, but it also has an all-new mode where pretty much you can play with Snake in more of the missions. Uh, but it's still Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty just with some added people. My favorite villain in the Metal Gear 2 is Vamp. I love Vamp is crazy. And he's just cool. He's just a cool character. Uh so yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2, very good game. Put this in your collection if you don't have it. Replay value is still fun to play. The story is really good. You get to find out that there's more than just two brothers brothers, two children of of a uh, big boss. There was actually another Solidus, but uh, good game. Snake Eaters! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eaters. Uh, this one takes place in the 60s, and you're playing with Big Boss. Uh, everybody thought it was Snake, but it's actually Big Boss, uh, Snake's father. Uh, this game is all about survival. Uh, and camouflage, blending into your surrounding uh, surrounding uh, environment. Uh, there's no radar in this, so uh, this game really, really, you really had to be aware of your surroundings. Uh, one thing I will say in this game is Big Boss got beat up a lot in this game, while as his son, Snake, can kick some ass. Big Boss sure got his ass whooped in this game. 
um, you know, he was taught by a, a female, which is cool, always cool to be taught by a woman, in my opinion, uh, who taught him how to fight, but still, uh, you know, still was like, man, you see how he gets his eye patch, you, everything, it, it's, it's just crazy, but, you know, it's all about survival, you know, treat your wounds, uh, live off, kill animals to survive, you know, it's all about survival in this game. Uh, but this story answers a lot of questions. We see a younger Ozalot in this game. So, really good. Mortal Kombat uh, Armageddon. Uh, uh, this was a good game because this game actually had... 60 characters in this game uh, and of course they had this thing called conquest mode which explored um, it got deeper into the story of a certain character in this game I'm forgetting the character's name right now um, but this was a this was a game before they rebooted it um, it's a good game uh, you can even the problem I hated with this game was the create a fatality get mode. I hated that. Um, but you can also create create a fighter in this game. Somewhat. Didn't really give you a full range. But uh, still a good game. Mortal Kombat. Armageddon. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2 uh, made by uh, Bandai Namco um, fighting game you know it's pretty much think of Power Stone and all those other games where you can move around fighting games where you can move around on the environment not just stay in one area kind of uh, don't have three because I don't know, I just didn't pick it up. Uh, I played it, but I just didn't pick it up. Uh, but it's a good game. This is a really good game. If you're a Naruto fan, you're going to like it. Uh, the best part is when you, you, you get the jutsus out and you could, you know, to make them stronger, you'll press the different buttons. But it's, it's a good game. Animusha 2, Samurai's Dream, one, another one of Capcom's great titles. Uh, this game takes place 10 years after the first game. And the character here uh, is actually designed after a famous Japanese actor. Uh, you, you know, once again, uh, you're, you have to fight the armies of Nobunaga. Uh, you're playing as a lone young warrior named Jubei. Uh, that's him right here. Uh, but this is a good game. Hard, but good game. Animusha 2. Animusha 3, Demon Seeds. This game was really good. Uh, once again, Nobunaga Nobunaga's has basically his demon race has gone more than just stayed in the uh, feudal area. Now it's gone into the modern day Paris. And so you play with two characters in this game. You'll go from back and forth. And you're playing with the, the uh, Sama no Noku, um, you're playing with him again from the first game, and now you're playing with uh, Jacques Bloch, uh, who is actually uh, designed after a French actor, uh, Jean Reno. Uh, but it's a really good game. So, Animusha 3. Good game.
And the last of the Onimusha series that has come out, Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. Uh, new hero, new era. Uh, this game actually is set 15 years after the first three games. Uh, the, the, uh, if anybody doesn't know what Oni is, what a, it's a Japanese demon. And this character here is actually half Oni. He's half demon. So he's a half breed. And you play with a lot of different characters in this game. You just don't play with him. Uh, many other characters you play with. Uh, it's really cool. It's a really cool gameplay. But it's hard. It's really hard. The Animusha games are really hard. Um, and you have to have a lot of patience with these games because if you don't, uh, you'll get really frustrated and that's what you don't need. But the Animusha series has sold well. They're really good. I'm hoping Capcom will make another one, uh, but it's a good game. Hopefully they just don't make it exclusively because I don't like exclusive games anymore unless they're only made by that company, then that's a care. But if it's a game like this, you know, put it on all the systems, in my opinion. But yeah, this was the last Onimusha game. Very good game. Resident Evil 4. Uh, good game. This is the beginning of the new look from Resident Evil. If you remember uh, back in the days forget that phone. <laughs> uh, if you remember back in the old days with the old Resident Evil games, they were more like open world but you know you had to when they would move the character would move all around. This time it's over the shoulder look where you can see everything. You're playing with Leon Kennedy and now he's a special agent now. And his job now is to go in and find the president's daughter. And you get all uh, wrapped up in the world of Resident Evil. Uh, with They're not zombies in this one. They're infected people. The Los Plata, as they're called. My favorite scene in this is the knife fight between the Krauser. Uh, that's my favorite scene in this. But uh, Resident Evil 4 is a very good game. Resident Evil 5 is good, too. Uh, this is Capcom's baby right here. Once again, for the old school people, my old school people out there, Sega Genesis Collection. 28 classic Sega Genesis games. Uh, for, let's see, what I can tell you. Kid Chameleon, remember that game? Uh, Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Vector Man 1 and 2. Uh, Rye Star, Columns, Sonic the Hedgehog, Echo the Dolphin, uh, Comic Zone, uh, Shinobi, 3, 1, 2, and 3, all of them. Uh, this is for the old school at heart, people. Um, so yeah, this is a must-have, too. If you like the classic Sega games that came out for the Genesis or the Mega Drive, wherever you are in the world, this is the game to pick up. 28 games on this, on one disc. Can't go wrong with that. <sighs> okay. Just looking at the time. Sorry, people. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow of the Colossus. Um, This was done by the makers of Edeo. Uh, this is a very fun game to play. Um, you're playing as a lone warrior that goes off to find, to slay all these colossus, colossi, or whatever. Uh, but know this, not all of them are giants. Um, some of them are smaller than they are, but it's really cool. You have to climb up on the giants and find their weak spots, and that's where you stab them and to bring them down. Uh, there's some from the sky, there's some underwater, some on land, some are big, some are tall, you know, and you ride your, your horse, Argo. And he takes you everywhere, you know. And uh, it's a very cool game. The story is cool. 
but there's a twist at the end of why you need to slay all these big guys. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played this game. So uh, Shadow of Colossus, really good game. Okay, and I will be back, guys, with the last few.